The SX Eagle Derailleur is one of SRAM's 12-speed, 1x mountain bike derailleurs. In this video, I'm going to measure the pull ratio and yaw of this derailleur. The SX Eagle Derailleur has a standard cable actuated derailleur design. Pulling cable moves the chain toward the bike, selecting easier gears, while relaxing the cable allows the derailleur to move away from the bike, selecting harder gears. When measuring the motion of a derailleur, I pull small amounts of cable and measure how far the jockey wheel moves as a result. To measure the motion of the derailleur, I did three runs pulling cable and three runs relaxing cable by one third of a millimeter at a time, taking 747 measurements in total. SRAM does not allow you to turn off the clutch on their derailleurs, and I believe that the extra resistance from the clutch added a bit of inconsistency to the measurements. Additionally, this was a used derailleur, which could have added some inconsistency. That being said, the measurements appear to be consistent enough for our purposes. Many derailleurs also yaw from side to side by design. The result is that the jockey wheel doesn't stay straight. Instead, the back of the jockey wheel will point away from the bike when hard gears are selected, and will point toward the bike when easy gears are selected. I measured the yaw of this derailleur by mounting it horizontally and placing an angle finder on the cage. I did three runs pulling cable by one millimeter at a, at a time, taking 123 measurements. Here you can see how the rate of derailleur movement changes as you pull more cable. To figure out the average pull ratio, I first found the best fit line through each of the six runs. Then, I combined the best fit lines of all the runs into a single equation. The pull ratio isn't constant, so I used the equation to average the pull ratio from the second smallest cog to the second largest cog. The blue line is the measured pull ratio. I used the blue line to determine the average pull ratio of 1.08. On average, pulling 1 mm of cable moves the jockey wheel by 1.08 mm. Similar to the pull ratio curve, I created a yaw curve by combining the best fit lines for all three runs. The yaw angle of the derailleur goes from about negative 2.6 degrees at the smallest cog to about positive 1 degree at the largest cog. Thank you for watching. I've laid out all the specs here for reference. 